This is one of the North Carolina Transportation Museum's earliest exhibits, the 40 and 8 boxcar. It was made to haul either 40 men or 8 horses. Not the most comfortable ride for those men, no bathrooms, no benches, or those horses, but they were very common on railroad lines. Modeled after a train full of goods donated by Americans to the French people in 1947, the French Merci train arrived in the U.S. in 1949. The contents? Crates full of items donated by the French people as a show of gratitude to Americans for those post-World War II recovery efforts. A car was given to each U.S. state, with another to be shared by the District of Columbia and Hawaii. North Carolina's Mercy Train boxcar and the items inside arrived in Raleigh in February of 1949 to much fanfare, featuring a parade with bands from Fort Bragg and Camp Lejeune and French dignitaries. Inside this case, some of the actual items that arrived on the French Mare Sea Train that have been kept at the North Carolina Museum of History. Now, these are just a few items. Some of the other things included on that Mare Sea Train, a full wedding dress with headband and veil and best wishes for a new bride, oil paintings, and dolls in traditional French attire. In a story from Our State Magazine, detailing North Carolina's Mare Sea Train car and the artifacts that arrived with it, Catherine Beery, registrar at the North Carolina Museum of History, described the items enclosed as gifts of genuine gratitude. These Mare Sea Train cars can be found all across the United States. Obviously, the one given to North Carolina is here at the Transportation Museum. MareSeaTrain.org details where the others are located by state. Now, the website also says that it was first veterans of World War I and World War II many of whom had ridden in such cars, who first began volunteering to keep them displayed and honorably maintained. It says they did so in memoriam to those who they had served with, who had given their all for the freedom of people everywhere in the world.